All right, so we've got lots of other things to cover. Uh, I had a post get a fair amount of attention on Mastodon today, and that was covering some of these interesting new hacking tools that have kind of saturated AliExpress and made it so that anybody who's interested in new technologies can get into it for less than $5. So $5 is my automatic like trigger point where I'm like, all right, I'm going to buy that and see if it's interesting because I know if I have a project that is you know, maybe requiring some specific uh, like technologies, then I can source this for a super low cost. So what is now available that I'm interested in? Well, check it out. Uh, over on my screen, I have these adorable little boards. There is a black one, a red one, a blue one, and a purple one. I kind of made a little like breakdown description of like what these are for. The first one will get you Wi-Fi and Bluetooth for basic IoT. The second one will give you extended range on both protocols because both uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi share the 2.4 gigahertz band. The H2 gives you Zigbee and Thread. And I was looking this up and apparently there's something called uh, Matter, which allows you to send protocols or send messages over Thread. And Zigbee uh, is was kind of the original version of this, but then has been superseded. And the group behind it has become another group that now endorses Matter. Anyway, you can see that these have started to flood the market. They've got these cheap little Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capable chips on them. They also feature these tiny, tiny, tiny antennas that make it so that they can shrink this footprint down into what's being called a super mini. Uh, and I think that's pretty cool. Like being able to take advantage of these powerful chips that are just this little black box in the center of these super mini boards, and then having these super space efficient antennas that let you access Bluetooth and Wi-Fi features, maybe with a little bit of a, a reduction in uh, distance versus the real long distance ones that you can plug in with the UFL adapter, but still something that allows you to kind of add something to your hacker arsenal for a very low cost.